better. I was starting to film on my big deal de da da da. My big DSLR, but it was just too heavy. Can't be dealing with that. Um hello. This is weird. I'm gonna do a vlog. Um, basically, long story short, I am moving from Kent up to Manchester. Um, if you're watching this, it's because I've told Instagram and social media and all that jazz that I'm moving. Um, because I, d I didn't want to obviously say, yeah, I'm moving guys, it's amazing, this is great, and then everything fall through and it'd be like, no you're not. <laughs> That's awkward. So I thought, let's just wait for everything to clear and then I can announce it I guess so yeah it's a massive move for me I'm moving on my own <laughs> um I don't know anyone up in Manchester either so I've spoken to a couple of people who blog up there as well and they've been very kind and said they'll take me for some wine so we're all good um but yeah I thought I would record the process a few cheeky little time lapses and a bit of shaky camera angle ling Okay, so I have actually just changed because that outfit was not appropriate for packing. Um, I need to pack up some boxes, as in put them together, because at the moment I don't have any. So I'm just going to parcel tape them. That's what I'm going to do. Parcel tape them. I actually hate doing this because I always feel like it's just going to fall through as soon as I put anything in it. So wish me luck. So now I get to fill it. Wow, this is so exposed. There we go. Now I get to fill it. But I don't know what. So obviously there's my bed which isn't coming, but all the cushions, all the soft furnishes are. Um, these are obviously going to come, the lampstand because it's not mine, all those bits and pieces are coming. This is my old desktop from like when I was 13 and I've kept it because there's so many funny memories. <laughs> so many funny memories on there. So this is probably the biggest load of junk. It's all my DVDs. I. I'm a sucker for a DVD. I know we've got Netflix and Now TV and all that jazz, but for me, I like having a physical form. <laughs> What's that? Um, so that's why I still have DVDs. And I also still have CDs, because I like, again, having the physical form, having the physical album. Um, so yeah, this is probably gonna take up the most time, should I say. Um, those are my coats, I've got two of those, so that's fine because they're already packed up pretty much. Um, and then I know I've got stuff underneath the bed as well. But apart from that, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Famous last words. I've decided I'm going to tackle the DVDs first. Wish me luck! <laughs> So I have actually cleared two shelves, <laughs> not a lot is it? I've taken the print down from there and that's basically it. So I've actually got this like wool stuff, it's almost like insulator. Um, it's amazing, kind of want to just curl up in it anyway. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I've already done it. I've put my prints lying down, kind of like sandwich them in. So hopefully they'll be okay and obviously I'll just write on it. Do not stick because those are my prints. Um, yeah. Also, my cutlery arrived, which is very exciting. Um, I'll show you this. Grossest angle in the world. Anyway, um, I basically wanted something a little bit different. So, and if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, I'll leave my little handle down here. You know I'm a total pattern clashing person. So, your girl wasn't just going to have any old cutlery. 
I've gone for, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, so I'm going to have to get one out. Gingham printed cutlery. So we've got a blue one for the forks, which is there. This was just off Amazon, by the way. Um, I'm a bit wary that the print is just going to rub off after a while, but it's a starting point. They were 13 quid for a set of 24. Um, the knives are like a pink gingham. These are the teaspoons. And they are a green gingham, green gingham, green gingham, normal spoons. This isn't a dessert spoon. I don't know what this is. It's just a spoon. These ones are yellow. So that is my cookery. This looks awesome. Yes. That's that. Follows me on Instagram knows who this absolute babe is. <laughs> Sophia made me this when I moved to Spain. And honestly, I love it so much. This photo was cracking me up last night. <laughs> oh it's amazing you've joined me at the top of my shelving unit i just thought this would be funny because if i do fall off um it'll capture it on camera but basically this is where all my sims games are and i am talking a full-on sim collection um what have we got here we've got sims 2 h&m fashion <laughs> that was a thing um party pack oh my gosh i remember when i first got the sims because i'd wanted it for ages and we spotted it in wh smith and i was so excited and then i remember getting um unleashed it's up there somewhere because i passed my sats in primary school and my mum bought it for me as a well done gift it's here somewhere but i am gonna keep all my sim games because i'm a hoarder so gross and dusty. Good morning. Um, I'm not in my house anymore. I'm officially in Manchester. It's about half seven in the morning um, and it's Friday, the 8th of August. Um, I've just got ready. I'm super tired, but you know, when you're like, I have so much to do, I cannot sleep. So I will show you the stage of packing right now um this box i'm putting all the like old stuff that was already in the apartment in there and i'm gonna put it up in the mezzanine just because i don't really want it around and i'm scared i'm gonna break it and lose my deposit um obviously you've got all this kitchen stuff this cleaning kitcheny stuff here trash um clothes lol yeah more clothes <laughs> i kind of just had to do this because my stepdad needs these two cases back um he's picking up this morning take back down to ken um all my plants one of them did not do too well on this drive is the poor thing he's a little bit battered but he'll get over it um that's bedding i need to wash yeah that's that i might do a few cheeky time lapses i i've kind of failed at this moving vlog with malarkey because it's just been so stressful and i've been like crap I need to do this i haven't got time to put a camera down work my phone down and start recording so it's kind of a little bit jumpy um hopefully they won't mind but yes let's get crack a in It is now Saturday. Um, I thought I'd just basically round up this vlog because it's, it's been a bit wish-washy. I'm not really a vlogger, but I'm trying. And I want to get on board in it a little bit more because I'm just lazy. I think that's the problem. I'm going to be really honest. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just quickly show you an update of what's happening in the flat. I have unpacked a little bit more, obviously, from what you last saw, which was yesterday, actually. But I haven't really vlogged a lot of it. Um, I'm just drinking a coffee out of like a little tin thermos. I've taken the lid off because it was getting way too hot and it was just, it wasn't cooling down at all, but I'm being really stingy and only trying to boil the kettle like once. So I make a cup of tea and then I'll put something in the thermos. So I've got 
another drink. I don't have to reboil it. Bills are expensive. Um, but yeah, I'll quickly give you a little bit of a rundown. Apartment tour 101. So um, the flat is pretty much fully furnished. So most of this isn't actually mine. Um, so to start with this little table, I've put a couple of scarves and blankets in there. Um, obviously some picture frames and my plant. Then the lamp is the apartment as is the sofa. I've just chucked a couple of cushions that were originally on my bed on the sofa. Um, these are actually scarves, but I like doubling them up because they're patterned. This is a little bit of a mess. I've collated some of my candles on here and obviously my little plant. Um, but my landlord has actually advised on not lighting candles because the smoke detector is like super sensitive, which is a bit of a bummer because your girl loves a candle. And then I've got my little Ikea table, um, some vases from HomeSense. This is pretty much all HomeSense because I love a bargain. Um, a couple more prints that I'm not sure what to do with. I have nowhere to put my jackets or blazers. So for now, they're on this little flimsy Ikea rail. This, I don't know what I'm doing with. Basically, I wanted to put my rug down because I don't like it scrunched up for too long, but this is what I've done so far. Originally, the table was here, but I moved it because I didn't like it. Um, but I think I'm gonna do like a bit of a gallery thing. And I kind of want to have like an ottoman or something here eventually, but I need a job first. Uh, TV, this needs to go upstairs. All of this needs to go upstairs to the mezzanine, which is up there and we don't talk about it because it's my junk room now. Um, and then the kitchen, which is probably uh, the most put together at the moment. I've got a little scale set here, which I stole from my mum because she had two sets. Um, and these gorgeous, I think they're stainless steel weights. My little zebra from Poundland. Um, this was amazing. This was from HomeSense and I really needed just a like a draining board because I didn't like putting anything on here. It's like wood um, and this was five pounds. So it's amazing because it also actually sits in the sink rather than taking up any more room because as you can tell, I don't have a lot of kitchen space. Um, and then obviously uh, the kettle and the toaster both came in the apartment, which is amazing. This is all the food storage I have, which is so annoying, but just have to be careful, can't snack up too much. Um, all my glasses, which are Ikea, HomeSense, TK Maxx, Peter Pan from Kath Kidson. And then obviously like fridge, freezer. Yes, that is an Easter egg in there. Duh. I think I showed you this. My cutlery. Um, some bowls and plates. Pick these up from HomeSense. Uh, then you come around to the table. This isn't gonna be here, I don't know where to put this. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get a little tray or something or some like mats because I don't like this just straight on the Ikea table, but there we go. Okay, so into the hallway as such. Um, I've got my little Buddha down there. And then this is a coat rail. What's this thing called? Coat stand even, um, that was left here by the landlord. Um, it's a little Ikea one. So I've just popped a couple of my bags and a jacket that I often do throw on and my bath towel because as you can see in the bathroom, we don't have anywhere to put my towel. And this bin was left here. This is mine. I've just filled it with random crap. Classic, um, a little fake plant that was also left. This amazing Ikea hand towel, which I just freaking love. So much fun. Um, I bought this back from Valencia. It's just a cheap old little rug. And this is where the magic happens. <coughs> yeah, this is my bedroom. The bed has actually two single mattresses. So I've had to put like, oh, hello hair bubble. Um, there's a little dip here. So I've had to put like a mattress protector and like a sheet, thicker sheet over it just to try and like pad out that little gap. Cause that's fun in the middle of the night. Um, again, I can't reach the blind. I don't know if I mentioned that actually. Yeah, I can't reach the blind, so this one's permanently closed. My landlord's gonna have a look at it though, because he says it's broken as well. It's always dark in here. Um, I've got a couple of little bits and pieces there. The lamp was kindly left. My chest of drawers, which is never shut because it jams. I've got a couple of other pieces over there too. This mirrored wardrobe, which was also left. And yeah, obviously there will be more home updates, but for now that's it. So thank you so much for watching this attempted vlog. Um, stay tuned, I might give it another whirl. But yes, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.